Greetings, this is Camps in the Oracle. I am the founder of Remnants Gathering, which is now Newverse Live because the collective has gathered so many remnants of themselves to heal. It wouldn't even be fair to the work that we have done on ourselves to continue to call us Remnants Gathering. So welcome. If you are new to the Newverse, Welcome to you. And if you've been around for a little while, I appreciate you for taking the time out to listen to this very significant channel message regarding ascension above our trauma and our triggers, transcending the need to operate in ego, having to be controlled by fear, not able to live The life we are here to live, this is what we incarnated to do. We aren't just human beings inhabiting a planet that just happens to have life. This is a divine plan. This is a prison break. (laughs) This is breaking out of the constructs, the social, societal, cultural, traditional constructs of politics, government, our lives, the economy. This is the karma that has been created being destroyed. The destruction of everything that is taking place now as Pluto is on the move. Pluto is bringing in the death of what no longer serves. And for some of us, that is very difficult because We've been through so much. We're more comfortable being comfortable. You know, when you when you've been through a lot and when you're tired and when you didn't gave and you didn't love and you're taking care of others at the expense of yourself. When you have been raised to be codependent and a people pleaser and you can only feel seen and worthy of love if you are doing something for somebody. We're being given the opportunity to release that density to step away from the system of control created by the 1260 frequency that broadcasts fear to the planet as we are delving deeper into the separation of 3D which consists of your beliefs, your subconscious programs, your conditioning from your childhood, the stories that you continue to tell yourself, whatever traumas you experience and the way it may be showing up in your life now. Like all of these things are part of an intricate dance of the divine to discover parts of ourselves that we didn't know existed. And the challenge right now energetically is for us to be able to open up to actually receive the transformational plasma that is being rained and showered down to planet Earth, drawing us deeper into getting to know ourselves. Because by going into yourself, you discover the components that make up the microcosm of the macrocosm, which unlocks the wisdom, the spiritual ascension, quickenings, and the codes and the synchronicities begin to come together because you, Earth, are aligning with sky, the cosmos. This is the whole purpose in the journey. As I record this now, there are several things going on in my life that could be a reason for me to um, be deeply grieving and unable to allow these messages to move through me. But the 
passion and fire in my soul that has been catalyzed by the situations throughout my life purified my heart enough where I can choose to listen to the mind, the logical mind, my programming, my fears, the doubts, what I can't do, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, all of these things. I can choose whether or not I entertain and give my attention and awareness to these thoughts. And I can hear them and choose my heart. My heart says, you are learning to love yourself. It's safe to open up. My head says, that doesn't make sense. People have always hurt you. You can't trust anybody. Don't open up. Don't ever open up. And in between these two chasms of, of duality of thinking is the 3D world and the 5D world happening inside of us. Consciousness is the bridge that leads us to the higher knowledge. But without the 3D experiences, there is no channel for you to pick up the data streamed to you from your future self or God self, God is self, your higher self, whatever you call the highest power, the highest potential of creation. We are all interconnected and we have lived through so much that we forgot how significant and how necessary death is in any rebirth and transformation. The healing abilities that many healers we trust and seek for guidance achieve those things by going through some of the exact same things we may be going through now. Just knowing that one thing soothes the mind and the soul and you feel more grounded knowing that is true. And you discover the people that you appreciate and respect and honor and listen to and receive information that uplifts your spirit and activates your soul you're actually connecting with the divine part of you that you have not yet discovered. The genius of God, God is being in physical form, is that we create these situations from our subconscious, unconscious mind and we project them out into our reality without awareness. Many of us don't know that we're doing this. And what happens is we forget that in order to see new life begin, it's going to require us to allow some things to die. Even if you have to do it afraid, even if you feel like you're not sure if you're doing the right thing. We are being compelled now to let go and surrender. Let the cars fall where they may. And this doesn't mean that we stop attempting to manifest a new reality and changing our mindsets and our lifestyles and the things that we eat, the things that we say, um, the routines from day to day, whether or not it's supporting us to continue to grow and achieve certain goals. Like we, yes, this is the dance of life. But when you are coming from a background where you experience childhood trauma and your voice was an honor and boundaries wasn't something that existed and maybe there wasn't even privacy and you know, maybe you were told that 
um, you were a bad kid or selfish or stupid or just like your mama, or just like your daddy. Maybe you was called a piece of shit. Maybe you was hit on. I said, I mean, we there's various stories, right? We have our stories, but you're able to draw strength and energy from your story when you pivot your perception when you choose to PRP it this is the positive reframe practice that I teach about in my courses and in my readings and coaching classes but you reframe this this visual this memory that you have in something that will serve you and this is healing the inner child by doing this so you can change not only the way that you respond to thoughts, but you can recreate your past simply by choosing a more positive perception. Choosing to look first at what you have gained from something instead of what you have lost. This allows the process of death to happen because it's going to happen either way. We all dying either way. At some point, we're leaving this body. But why do we get so hung up on making this life extend as long as possible and at the same time feeling miserable and hating our lives and hating ourselves? Why do we do that? This is the sorcery that I teach about in the courses that has been spell cast upon the planet. And the seeds have been so cleverly hidden in the monotheistic religions to many of us from a child up to adult were trying to achieve love from a God that we really wasn't sure knew we even existed. Because if this God, this love is really who he say he is, why did I go through such terrible things? Like, this is the the question that is helping people to choose. But again, you can choose to say, ah, I'm not going to entertain that. It's your choice. And you will remain in the bandwidth of experience that you are in. Or you could choose to be curious and search it out. Spirituality is being given birth to, which is why religion is dying. And eight years ago, I shared with you all the dream of the church dying. I watched her die twice. And the third time, she had me perform a ceremony for her to pray her into the next level of source for the energy to be used for something beneficial. She was a sentient being who knew that the ancient spiritual sciences and practices of the indigenous have been manipulated and turned into religion. Um, and so as she was preparing herself to leave the planet, there were a lot of people who were going to be left not knowing what to believe in anymore and not having a sense of spirituality. And um, so this is the 3D matrix illusion coming down. In the Mayan prophecy calendar, um, in which you will receive when you purchase the course it's a nine-year prophecy with a visionary map of these events and that is so important because it helps you to navigate your personal reality and your world with tools and with more information about the frequency that created the being you call you and this is one of the most benefiting discoveries I have made in this journey of healing and transcending my traumas, turning my shadows into my spiritual superpowers and being so courageous and trusting and having faith in myself that I'm willing to do it publicly and share my life with the world as I'm going through my personal spiritual awakening. This is a great time to be alive, and I'm going to give you a couple of things that will help you to anchor yourself in the bandwidth of what you choose to experience 
for it to no longer be connected to your conditions and relationships. This is a practice. This is a journey. This isn't something that you rush and make happen overnight. And as we are learning to respect cycles, which is one of the feminine principles returning to the planet, we're learning how to respect when we're in a cycle and not force ourselves to be somewhere we're not ready for and call it manifesting. Right. And this causes more suffering than it does serenity and peace. But the suffering provides contrast so that we can seek something other than what we have been conditioned to believe about ourselves, the way that we behave, whether or not we allow fight or flight, freeze or fawn to take over, the way that we react to other people when we're triggered, being able to choose to be a creator instead of a nuclear reactor in the reenactment of your own subconscious unconscious traumas and what happens is the more and these are the tips that I was going to share with you the more that you take the time to be self-aware the second thing that you do is step back and remove judgment of what you're witnessing because judgment will block any lesson that moment is sharing with you to give you clarity on the life you deserve and desire. That is such a special sacred gift. And yes, life is messy and crazy, but that's how we get things done down here on planet Earth. We go through it to get to the other side. And while we're in that space, we're innovating the way we show up in life, which changes everything in our lives and how we do everything. And it touches people. And this is how you shift a paradigm one person at a time. We all matter. And all of our thoughts are becoming things. And we are all feeling the effects of that. So we're desiring personal development. We're desiring to find a spiritual practice that resonates with us. We're desiring to heal our inner child wounds. We're desiring to heal our relationships. The desire has been fueled by the hard times. So to have gratitude is to show up as a spiritual gangster and say, I am a sacred rebel. I'm a spiritual gangster. I don't allow myself to fall and never get up again. I always get up and I'm going to sit here with myself. Offer love and compassion to myself when I show up in ways that I know is no longer a part of the story that I want to live. When anything happens that is something other than what I would like to be experiencing, I'm not going to judge it. And even more, I'm going to be grateful that that's a spiritual gangster. That's gangster gratitude. See, gratitude ain't gangster unless there's something challenging your reason to be grateful. And in that moment right there, the way that you think, the way that you work with the somatic sensations within your body and your breath, you're reconnecting the head and the body with the breath, which is the essence of God. God is the creator. And in that moment, you're learning how to reprogram your quantum field of consciousness around you. You're shifting your mind and you're learning how to drive your emotions pleasantly. And with gratitude. In a world that is fueled by fear and chaos becomes your secret weapon against anything that 
is blocking you. But the tricky part about the 3D matrix is nothing is really blocking you. Your perception of the obstacles you see may be stopping you. But the obstacle itself isn't blocking you. And maybe in that space, there is something that you are discovering that's uncomfortable. Let it be something you give gangster gratitude for. Even if it's just with your words, if you just practice saying, I'm offering gangster gratitude to myself because I just got my heart broken. I'm grateful for me. I am grateful that my heart is still in my chest beating, even though it feels broken. I'm so grateful to be here embracing myself. I'm so grateful to embrace this heartbreak because that was something that I could not accomplish at one point in time in my spiritual journey. Am I shifting into that energy and choosing to be grateful? You are challenging the zeros and ones that construct the collective suffering. You are challenging that code and you are putting interference in the fear interference frequencies that we are swimming in every day it's in the air and this is consciousness which is air it's also the breath so what we think and what we are saying comes out and it creates something in the breadth of this air, I've been talking about this. We're in the primordial waters of noon. We're in the amniotic fluid of recreation of humanity. And by having gratitude for whatever is showing up, you are able to have more love and patience. And you are able to accomplish things with hardly no effort that you once use force to accomplish. Since you are resonating and feeling the beautiful vibrations that I have offered to you, check out the course, 3D Matrix Detox. It's one of the most exciting ways to rediscover who you are outside of the identity, the 3D Matrix and the conditioning and the trauma created you're someone else and you have great potential that you are exploring ways to connect with and i love to use creativity and humor you know to work through the shadow self and it can be done it can be done it can be done do you believe it can be done it can be done Yes, even if it's just 5% of you to believe what I'm saying is true, that's enough. It's yours. You are worthy and you deserve this. So check out the 3D Matrix Detox course for many ways to reprogram subconscious beliefs that actually created more suffering in my life and many of my clients that I have coached and counseled and the people that are also in the course they are in a VIP group and we can talk with each other and ask advice and when we need encouragement with there for each other as well. Um, so, yes, is there like don't ignore when spirit is directing you to a path of least resistance. All right. Man, your third eye has just been kissed, sending you gangster gratitude for everything that you are and everything that you are becoming to allow the new me to stay in the present moment. Yes. New me stay. I say one love.